to Fanduct. Hi, welcome to 3D Make It. I'm Greg. Today I am taking uh, the old friend shroud that's on my Anycubic Chiron and I'm upgrading it to uh, this one. Nice cooling from both sides should improve my prints. Um, I've been having really good luck with the printer, but it can't hurt to tweak it a bit. That's the fun of having 3D printers. All right. Let's get to it. We are going to replace the fans. So we to start with, we need to disconnect this connector. Let's put it out of the way. We don't have to worry about the PTFE tube because that is not going to be in our way. We'll then uh, remove the three screws holding the metal protective shroud. There's one there, one down here. And there is one right here. Okay, so we removed the shroud. Now, I'm going to try to position this in a way for you to see. There we go. I'll just reposition the camera. So, there are two screws here and here holding this uh, fan on. The new fan, which is right here, will just go on like that there's a nice vent right here and here to blow directly onto the part from two sides to improve cooling so we're going to install this so we'll just remove the two screws i'll just hold this here so you can see There's one, and we'll get the other one. Now, unfortunately, these wires are in the way, so you can't actually do this while the shroud is in place. Otherwise, that would be way too easy. But there's only three screws, plus these, so five total that you need to mess with. So it's not going to be that bad. Okay. So then this just comes off very easily. There's our fan. Our new one just fits right over the exact same spot and uh, slides into place. There we go. Put the screw in. Sorry if you can hear that, that is my dog wanting to go outside. And we're almost done here. We'll just put this one in. Oop. Get it all lined up. you can see that and screw that one down tighten them all so that's it um, the new fan is on now we do have to be a little careful when we're sliding this back on 
You gotta get it on both sides underneath. Got to slip it underneath and then put it to place. Put the bottom screw in. Give it a couple turns. We're not gonna tighten it all the way up. Take the other screw, get it in place. A couple turns. Make sure it's threaded okay. And we'll grab the last screw and get it in up here. And there we have it. We'll tighten them all down. And we have, and I'll get a closer look here in a sec. Okay. It's in place. Much better reach to the nozzle than this one was. And we can still, the nice thing is, that are auto bed leveling on and it does not interfere with the nozzle at all and if we ever want to there's enough room here that we could swap the pl magnetic plate out with some other type of uh, sensor like a BL touch or whatnot so we will then just put, plug this back in Make sure it's in there good. And then we are done. Well, that was it. Super easy. Didn't take very long. The print was very easy to print. Uh, the first one I did had a little issue with supports, but the new Prusa slicer that David did a little preview of, that fixed up my issues with the selective supports and printed beautifully the one that didn't print so hot had quite a bit of oh, it's going to be hard to see that had quite a bit of stringing uh, in in it but now it's all printed installed works great i'm getting nice even airflow so Hope that helps anyone who wants to do it. I will put a link to the Thingiverse uh, item that I used uh, in the description. I hope that was informative. See you next time.